What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it's your first time here, welcome. So today I have a Good American haul for you. I've done a few Good American hauls and personally I am a big fan of the brand because they make clothes that fit very very well and they have a very wide size range as well so they offer clothes for people of all body types, all different shapes and sizes. So as always before I get started I did want to let you know that everything that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below along with all of my personal links and my measurements for reference. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So Good American carries a wide variety of clothing, but their main focuses are denim, bodysuits, and active wear. So the outfit that I'm wearing right now is the Empower Bra and the Cinched Waist 7 8 length leggings. And I got both of these in a size one, which in Good American sizing, that is a size small and that's my regular size. So as you can see, the Empower Bra is a high neck sports bra and the entire back is actually mesh. So it's super, super breathable. So I would say this is a medium to high impact sports bra because it is high neck. I talk about it all the time, but I love high neck sports bras for days when I'm going to be bending over in the gym or jumping around just because they provide more coverage and more support than a low cut, low impact sports bra. I also did want to point out that this sports bra does not have padding in it, but personally, I don't really feel like you need it because it has a print on it, so you definitely can't see anything through the print. These are the Cinch Waist 7 8 length leggings. So as you can see, these are a high rise legging. They are seven, eight length. They have a triangular gusset and they do have a top seam on the waistband, but they actually lay pretty flat. I don't feel like it's uncomfortable or I'm like spilling over the sides of it or anything. It does have this little drawstring, but I feel like the drawstring is more just like a decorative touch for show. It actually is a real drawstring. I can like feel it throughout, but I feel like because the waistband is pretty snatched already, you probably won't really need this drawstring. So the material material of this outfit is a very, very slick material. I can tell it's definitely moisture wicking material. This is probably a very good material for super, super sweaty workouts. It also provides quite a bit of compression as well. So if you are looking for tummy control, these would be a great choice for you. And while it does have compression, it still has plenty of stretch as well. I don't feel constricted or anything, so don't worry about that. And personally, if you know me and you know my taste, you know that this print is everything. I already have quite a bit of animal print in my wardrobe, quite a bit of animal print in my activewear wardrobe, but you know what? In my opinion, there's always room for more. And personally, I don't have this coloring at all. This is kind of like a silvery gray. It's almost like metallic looking, at least in the viewfinder, it looks kind of metallic to me. But this print is called Snow Leopard and naturally, <laughs> I absolutely love it. There is quite a bit of animal print on the Good American website right now. So if you're not a fan of this print, but you do like animal print, you've got a lot of options. So up next, we have the Crushing It Velvet Legging. And I got this in my regular size one. And to pair with it, I have the Crushing It Leopard Bralette, also in a size one. Okay, so first, this is the bralette on. So as you can see, it is a racer back bralette with skinny straps and these straps are adjustable as well. This top also has the crushed velvet and it also has a little leopard print detail in the front and on the back as well. It's kind of like understated leopard because it's not super bright and in your face, but you look closely, you're like, that's leopard print. And this bra does have removable cut pads as well. This is definitely a low impact bra because it is low cut. It does have skinny straps. I think that's why they call it a bralette. So I definitely wouldn't wear this for any like jumping around or any super high impact exercise, but I definitely would lounge in this and you could wear this for anything low impact. And then these are the crushed velvet leggings and they are so freaking soft. Like all I want to do is pet my legs right now, as weird as that sounds. But these are a high rise legging. These do have a top seam on the waistband. I've noticed Good American does that with a lot of their leggings and I think it's truly just so they stay up on your waist and don't fall down. These also have a triangular gusset and these are a full length legging. I guess I might as well do the squat test. 
But yeah, these leggings are so soft. They are quite stretchy as well. I'm honestly very interested to see how this does in the gym. So the material on the inside of the leggings is like regular legging material. It's not the velvet on the inside too, but I'm very interested to see if they're still moisture wicking or if they feel warmer than usual. We shall see, but even if they're not a gym legging, I honestly will wear these as like a regular legging. I would pair these with like a crop top or a long top and like knee high boots or something like that. I feel like that would be super, super cute. So yeah, I feel like you can wear these not only in the gym, but out of the gym too, because velvet is a little bit dressier. So you could definitely get away with wearing these as like regular clothes too. The next thing that I got are these good waist camo jeans. And I got these in a size two slash 26. Okay, so these are what the jeans look like on. I think they are so cute. If you know me, you know that along with the animal print, camo is also one of my favorite prints. And I've actually been looking for a while for a pair of camo jeans that fit. I've tried a few and they just don't fit. And I knew that when I saw them on the Good American website, they would fit because most Good American jeans have stretch to them. Not all of them, but most of them do. They list the fabric content right on the website of everything. So you can check what has stretch to it. But yeah, most of their jeans have stretch to them. They're good waist jeans are my favorite because I like where they hit on my waist. I think they're super flattering. They make the booty look nice. They're comfortable. They also don't gape, which is super nice. Basically, they just know how to make jeans that fit well. I would say lengthwise, these jeans are in between seven, eight length and full length, but I'm five, seven, so I'm a little bit on the taller side. So sometimes things can just look a little bit shorter on me. The next thing that I got are another pair of the good waist jeans. And I also got these in a size two slash 26. Okay, so here is what the these ones look like on. So the fit of these is the exact same to the last ones because they are the good waist. So these are high rise denim. Again, no gaping in the back. They fit very nicely on the waist. They're nice and stretchy as well. These ones are kind of like a faded dark blue color. I really, really like this color. And they also do have distressed details in several places like on the front of the legs here. They have a little distressing on the front pocket and on the back pocket as well. So yeah, I'm a big fan. I already knew I was a big fan of Good American Denim. They make some of my favorite pairs of jeans. And another thing I like about them is they don't bag out really easily. So you can actually wear them a couple times and they like hold their shape. And you don't have to wash them after every time that you wear them. The last thing that I got is a little bit different. This is the see-through me dress. I've actually never tried a dress from Good American before. But seeing as I usually love how everything else fits, I feel like this is gonna fit perfectly as well. And I got this in a size one. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like on. So as you can see, it's a little bit scandalous because it is mesh and it's basically just a bodysuit with mesh over it. Personally, I actually love these styles of dresses. I have a couple of them and I freaking love them. I just think they're so different and so freaking cute. So this dress actually has a square neckline, so you're not showing a lot of cleavage, which is perfect because if you're showing all of this, you don't really need to also show cleavage. <laughs> but the straps are like kind of skinny, but not too skinny. And they're also adjustable as well. And then the bodysuit on the inside is a class bottom. Of course, that is always a plus, a class bottom bodysuit. So when you go to the bathroom, you don't have to take everything off. But the mesh is actually super, super stretchy. So I don't feel constricted in this dress, which is perfect because if I'm wearing a dress like this, I'm probably going to a club and I wanna be able to dance. I don't wanna feel like I like can't move. You know those dresses that are so tight that you're like, wow, like this is so cute, but I can't even move. So what's the point of wearing it? You know what I mean? This is definitely a dress for somewhere like Vegas or like Miami. I'm actually going to Miami this weekend. So I'll probably bring this along. So that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do have a good American discount code. I will put that right here and I will also put that in the description box down below as well. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching you guys and I will catch you next time.